coordinator like Bobby coming in with his you know background with tight ends, does that kind of just get you excited knowing that you're going to be used maybe differently than you have been yeah. in the past? Yeah, it gets me really excited. Um, that was kind of one of the things I was saying, like kind of sucks not being out there, not being able to prove myself. But, uh, you know, he told us he loves his tight ends, and um, I'm really excited to see kind of how that plays out going into the season. Where are you with your recovery process? I mean, what's the, what's the path now for you? So I um, got my surgery. I'm three months out right now. Everything's going great. Um, so I'll be back to full by the summer. Right now it's a lot of lifting, running, kind of getting back in shape, getting my strength up as much as I possibly can. Um, a, lot of, a lot of squatting, a lot of leg work. And then on the field, it's obviously all mental. Yeah. Um, but by summer, I should be uh, back to full. So. You mentioned you had surgery. Uh, I know you dealt with a couple injuries last year. Mm -hmm. What was uh, surgery? Uh, it was for my shoulder. Okay. So in the Michigan game, I dislocated my shoulder. So I kind of <laughs> tore a bunch of stuff in there. Um, and I kind of knew I was going to have to get it after the season. I was kind of just toughing it out uh, in the final stretch. But um, it was something I kind of knew I needed to do because getting this surgery, getting everything fixed, is I think going to take my game to another level, you know, not having to worry about, oh, like, is my shoulder hurting? It's not about that anymore. It's about strictly ball. So. Is it frustrating at all for you last year? Just, I felt like maybe an injury, pop, new injury kind of popped up. It started in fall camp and it just kind of continued. Yeah, uh, last year was interesting. They did keep coming. I broke my hand. Uh, I, got dis I got dislocated my shoulder. I had to get ambulanced off uh, during a practice for my leg. Uh, but I'd honestly say that was frustrating, but I'm glad it happened because mentally I've gotten through it all. I really know I can get through anything at this point. Um, and it kind of also taught me just the importance of the basics, recovery, hydration, um, nutrition. And if you take those things for granted, then bad things do happen. So give yourself the best chance. So I, I think I learned a lot through it. What was it like um, it, 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 it's good now. So um, it was really weird. It was a two minute drill. Um, it was over there. Uh, I ran a corner, I caught the ball and I landed on my knee weird and my quad kind of like just ripped and it started bleeding. And so, that it, so it was like, I had to go really fast for compartment syndrome, if you know what that is. Um, and they would just slash my legs. So I had to get ambulance off, rush to the hospital. Luckily, uh, the pressure of my leg didn't get to the point where they would have to slash it. I had to like stay overnight in the hospital um, just to make sure. But that's all kind of over. That's kind of like a thing where in the moment it can be really bad, but if you can get through that first part and the swelling and the bleeding goes down, then it's all good. So like that is totally fine now. But in the moment it was definitely a little scary. Did you know right away that something went wrong? Yeah, I, I mean it got rock solid, and I was like, so, something is something is seriously seriously wrong. So. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Both, both got ambulanced off, yeah. With those that you've seen reps for, you know, like Jalen and Caden and Jack and kind of Cole, and how are you seeing their progressions through this spring and the amount of reps they've given them? How have you seen their progress so far? Uh, I'm seeing a lot of improvement. Um, Hayden, I would say blocking-wise, I think he's really the most consistent he's ever been right now. Um, he's really got his technique down, and consistently throughout a practice, He's not making many mistakes. So I would say that was his biggest thing is consistency. For Jalen, I would say the biggest thing for him is he's grown maturity-wise. Like you can tell when he gets out there, he's got that confidence to him that he knows what he's doing and he knows how to do it right. And you really see that in his play now. He's making more plays, you know, he's doing everything right. Um, and even down to the young guys, I mean, you have, I mean, not young, but uh, experience-wise at the tight end position, we got um, Jack Pugh and Riley Nowakowski. They just love to learn and they love to grind. and. You can see, you can yeah, see the way they've kind of grown through the knowledge of the game. They ask me questions all the time throughout practice and after, and you can see that they love to learn. So the improvement is kind of throughout the field. I can see a lot of uh, up and down throughout every uh, person tight end room. When you have the, in terms of responsibilities last year and the past compared to what they're asking the tight ends now, just for you, like, yeah, I would definitely say. What are some of those changes, responsibilities that they're asking? Um, it's I, honestly it's it's a lot more similar than you think um, in terms of blocking and route running. There's a few different things we'll kind of split out a little more sometimes, um, but it's nothing that we can't handle. Um, I, honestly, I, it's a tough question. I don't I don't think there's too much different. Um, it's kind of more. I mean, we've kind of always been 
a type of group that's like, just give us a sheet of plays and we'll learn them and we'll master them. Um, but I haven't seen too much change, I guess you could say. It's a lot of the same techniques, blocks, uh, not plays necessarily, but routes, concepts we've had before. One thing that's so Jalen said that he and you are kind of sharing the title of the old guy in, in the room with yeah. Ferguson gone now. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious, uh, I don't know if there's one person that can replace his productivity mm -hmm. now that he's gone, but what do you think the unit together, collectively, will be able to do next year? Um, so I've kind of said already, like, okay, Fer, Fer, Ferg was, no, no, um, Ferg was um, obviously our main guy. He produced a lot. A lot of things uh, I think a lot of people haven't seen is like down the field, all of us, me, Clay, Hayden, and uh, Jalen, have all played a lot of significant snaps. So we do have a lot of experience. So I don't think that jump up to the next the next level is as big as people might think. I think collectively as a group, we all really know what we're doing. We're really locked into it. So um, I'm not sure how it'll play out. Obviously, I can't tell you that yet. But um, I do think I think we're going to be able to, to you know figure it out and have some productivity. Do you think the injury has changed play at all? Same guy, has he changed? Um, mentally, I think he's stronger. I mean, me and him both, we've kind of been together throughout this whole thing, so we kind of just have that chip on our shoulder. Um, always the last ones to leave the locker room, kind of just you know like, I mean, we've been through it and we're just ready to go. We're itching to get back, so. I wouldn't say anything bad has changed. I think he's yeah. a better player for it.